Hey there! So this is sort of like my spring essentials video. Originally I was just going to do sort of like a spring beauty essentials, but then I kind of came across quite a bit of um, style related pieces that I feel are definitely going to be pieces that I'm going to be reaching for this spring. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the beauty products. Um, the first thing that I have is the Misha M Perfect Cover BB Cream. And the reason I have this included is because you know, with the warmer months means more sun exposure and more time outside. And since this has an SPF of 42, um, you do get a different, a definite good um, skin protected protectant on your face, good protection from the sun, and it also delivers good coverage and moisture as well. So I really, really love this. I'm in the shade number 27 Honey Beige, although I do need to mix it with a little bit of dark concealer and it turns out to be closer to my skin tone because it is a little bit too light. Um, but the next thing that I have are some lip colors that I absolutely love for the spring. Um, the first one that I have is the one that I have on now, which is my absolute favorite lipstick of all time, and it is called Spirits by MAC. So it looks like this, sort of like a mauve -y, um, like brownish tinted pink shade and it is the perfect nude for my lips so if you're sort of like a deeper complected um, person then it will definitely be more of a nude shade for your skin type but for um, lighter skin tones or fair skin it'll be more of a like plummy mauvey pinky shade so that's I absolutely love this especially because nude lips are just really nice and fresh for springtime and then the next lip color that I have is by um, Revlon and it's called Coral and so it is a really like sort of hot, flaming coral shade, sort of like a red orange, like a brick red orange shade. And it's kind of like an intimidating like bright color, but um, I think for the spring, it's really okay to just kind of go out of your comfort zone and try bright colors and just pop that on your lips with a pretty like blank face and you can just do a little bit of eyeliner and a pop like lip. It'll be amazing, so I definitely highly recommend that one. During the springtime, I really like to kind of brighten up my face and kind of have that sort of nice springtime glow. So the first blush that I have is by MAC and it is called Peaches. And I mentioned this in my um, March favorites video, but I'm still absolutely loving this. The perfect peach, peachy pink blush for my skin tone. Very, very, very pretty, very highly pigmented, so you just need to kind of sweep it over, tap it off, and delivers a nice peachy glow to your cheeks. I have it on today, but I'm pretty sure you won't be able to tell with this gloomy lighting that I'm getting. But um, the other blush that I absolutely have been loving that I recommend for the springtime is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Heather Silk. And it is a pretty sort of like um, slightly purpley tinted Barbie pink shade. It's like a it's like a bubblegum Barbie pink shade and I just really love this to kind of give that nice sort of rosy flush to the cheeks and I would highly recommend this blush because for the price it is amazingly pigmented. It like comes out to I think three dollars and sometimes Wet n Wild even goes on sale so it becomes even cheaper so I really 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 highly recommend this one. I also have um a few nail polish picks for the springtime. So four of them are actually all the same sort of type family or nail color family and so they're like minty nail polishes. This is um, Mint Candy Apple by Essie. By far the lightest one so definitely great for lighter skin complexions. The next one is China um, for Audrey by China Glaze which is a pretty true Tiffany blue sort of sea foamy blue green shade and then the next one is by sinful colors and it's called mint apple and it is a deeper one it is sort of like a minty jade color with a little bit of sparkle running through it and then the last one is called my lifesaver from nicole by opi and this one came out with the justin bieber collection so I'm um, pretty sure it is not available anymore. So, but as far as the other ones go, there are still available and you can get them in stores. I've seen them. They're permanent connect collections for the most part. So definitely check those out if you guys are interested in a mint nail polish. But as far as this one goes, um, 
I haven't seen it anywhere for the longest time because it is from a past collection a while back. So I don't know if you'll be able to find this one per se, but um, definitely check it out if you guys can find it. Um, this actually happens to be my favorite minty nail polish shade, which is kind of unfortunate considering that the other ones are available and that one isn't. So I have them swatched over here. Um, the first one over here is Mint Candy Apple by Essie. Um, this next one is For Audrey by China Glaze. And then this next one is, um, I think, what is it called? Mint Apple by Sinful Colors. And then the last one is um, My Lifesaver by Nicole by OPI. The next one is New Money by L'Oreal. And so it looks like this. A very, very, very pretty creamy, buttery, chartreuse lime green shade. It looks so pretty on the nails. I love it for spring. It's absolutely perfect. It goes with a lot of the elements of spring. Chartreuse is one of those big colors this year that I've particularly gravitated towards just because it's so pretty and you can really edge it up with black and darker shades as well. So I really love this. And so I have that swatched right over here. So that is called New Money by L'Oreal. And then the other one, which I happen to have on my nails, is called Tarte Deco by Essie. And it is the most amazing peachy, pinky, corally shade. It's sort of like a neon coral shade, but it's so, so, so pretty. I was a little bit intimidated when I saw it, and I was like, no way I can wear that on my nails. But I have it on, and it was kind of like love at first sight, and I was just like having a beauty gasm, and I was like, oh my god, it's so pretty. But um, yeah, I've been absolutely obsessed. I did my nails last night, and I've been just like staring at them like all day, just because they look so, so pretty in this shade. It's typically not a shade that I would reach for often, but I have been instantly in love with it. So I would really highly recommend that for the springtime because it will go with all the pretty florals and even with the sort of like yellowy toned colors as well. So I've been loving this a lot. I also have a bunch of um, non-beauty essentials for the springtime. Bright like pop of color accessories. And so the first one that I have is a bracelet and this one is by Vince Camuto. And so I got this one from Macy's but I know it was also available at Nordstrom and it um, was on clearance so not sure if it's still available but definitely try and grab it if it's still available for you. But it's the most gorgeous like highlighter yellow like um, neon yellow shade that I've been absolutely obsessed with. And it is gorgeous. I just, I can't wait to wear it. I might even wear it today. It might, doesn't necessarily go with my outfit, but um, I'll definitely wear it sometime very, very, very soon. And then I also picked up these socks. They're like chartreuse socks from Macy's. I think they were, they were like under $10. So they're pretty, pretty good socks. I don't know what brand, I think it's by Hue. I think the brand is called Hue. But um, love these. I'm gonna be wearing them with my ankle boots. And I'll have a video specifically on chartreuse elements for spring, so definitely keep an eye out for that. But this is one of those pieces that I'm going to be wearing throughout the spring that adds sort of like a pop of color to my simple, neutral type of wardrobe. And so the next thing that I have that's sort of like a bright pop of color in these spring like accessory element, elements that I'll be wearing um, is this scarf. And it is a like a big, like I guess... I don't think it's a square scarf, but it's just like one of those big, big scarves that kind of open up like really big. And I guess I'll kind of just, you know, drape it over my neck and wear it like really simple. But I got this for like $5 at, um, I forgot where I got this from. It was really cheap. I got this from Jeans Warehouse. I don't know if Jeans Warehouse is available in the mainland or anywhere else, but we have Jeans Warehouse here in Hawaii and it's kind of like a place where you can find what I like to call, um, like disposable, like trendy, like type of fashion. So not the best, best quality, but if you're looking for specific items that you know will just be on trend for a certain season, that's kind of where you'll be able to find them and at much more affordable prices. So that's why I picked this up from there. Definitely kind of like a statement bold piece that I'll wear during the springtime, but it's so like bright and colorful and 
fun that I just figured it'd be like fantastic for spring. And I've been loving like bright colors so much, like even with my um, Starbucks tumbler, it has these sort of like chartreuse, like bright yellow green color on the top. Fantastic. Sunglasses. So the first pair that I'm going to share with you that I got, these are probably the most more recent purchased sunglasses that I pick up, picked up. And these ones are by House of Harlow. So if you guys are not familiar, House of Harlow is a, um, a brand, sort of like a bohemian type of brand designed by Nicole Richie. And so these are like the octagon, I think they're called the Joan sunglasses. So they're like octagon shaped, kind of looks like the kind of linen type of sunglasses. But I love them so much. They've been going with a lot of the things that I've been wearing recently. And they're just kind of really like fun and trendy-ish. So I've been really loving those. And also, the only time during the spring, I mean, only during the spring and summer, I bust out these sunglasses. And these are my Ray-Ban White Wayfarers. So I love these for the spring and summer. Absolutely love these. Um, uh, I'm not going to wear them right now because they're going to get like stuck to my, my powder. And I have falsies on right now, so... Um, but I've been loving these so much. I've been wearing them um, a lot recently, along with the Joan sunglasses by House of Harlow. And then a couple of more affordable sunglasses that I picked up recently. I actually also got these from Jeans Warehouse. Um, so the first one that I have looks like this. Sort of black and white, very round type of sunglasses with this very, like, um, sort of like geometric tribal print on them. So they're like white frames with the black print on the front, and then they have black, like, um, what do you, I don't know what you call these, arms? They have black arms, or like flaps, or I don't know what they call them. But I've been loving these a lot, especially for the beach. I like to wear cheaper sunglasses to the beach, because let's be honest, they can get lost, and they can get damaged. So I do not want to be wearing my more expensive sunglasses, like my Gucci sunglasses, or my Ray-Bans, or anything else to the beach because they're definitely going to get damaged. So I buy sunglasses like these that are much more affordable, yet they are still cute. And then another one that I also bought in the same shape but a different print, also from Jeans Warehouse, looks like this. And it is sort of like a very colorful, like tribal print. So it has all of these fun colors on them. So like the orange and the blue and the yellow. Very, 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 very pretty. Some wardrobe items that I'll definitely be wearing during the spring. The first one that I have is this striped shirt. I'll be definitely be wearing a lot of stripes. Stripes are like huge right now. I'm seeing stripes everywhere and anywhere and all over the place. So definitely something that I'll be wearing throughout the spring is stripes. I'll probably be wearing these with the a bright colored short just to kind of contrast the black and white. And then the last sort of like outfit detailing thing that I'll be wearing during the spring um, which I mentioned in my haul video recently is the Prabal Garang sweater. I love it so much. It's not a sweater, it's a sweatshirt actually, but I love it. I'm going to be wearing this a lot during the spring. I've worn it once so far, but I'm going to be wearing it a lot. I just know I'm going to be wearing it a lot. I'm probably going to wear it in a couple days um, because it is just such the perfect like thing to wear for the spring. Because it's just bright and it screams in your face like spring. like flowers and colorful with the black detailing. It just is amazing. I love it. I love it so much. Um, I probably should have mentioned that in my March favorites, but maybe I'll have it in my April favorites. But I have been loving that so much. And I'm sorry this is going to be another long video for you guys, but I'll try to cut it down a lot. Um, as I mentioned earlier, what's on my nails is Tarte Deco by Essie, which I have been absolutely obsessed with. Oh my gosh. It's probably going to be on my blog sometime next week, sometime next week hopefully, if I can get pictures of it by then. But yeah, um, I'm also going to have a sort of spring essentials giveaway. So some of these elements are these things that I mentioned in this video, I will be having in my giveaway. So definitely keep an eye out for that sometime soon. It'll be um, sort of like a, like a connected giveaway between my Instagram, Facebook, and here. So if you guys see it on any place, you can enter at all those different areas. So definitely check that out. 
And also check out my blog, ResesWeird.com. I try to update that at least once a week. So definitely check that out for fashion and beauty related posts. I try to have my nail post at least once a week as well. So I've been trying to catch up on that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.